So, not our first time declaring a successful failure. Okay, if anything we should try to lure people away from this area, not to it. Okay, we still got guys here, but this is... This is less. Try to give them up a bit. Probably still more than we want to do with our pistol. I mean, in theory we could pull out the shotgun. Drawing them away is a separate plan, but it's not... Um, it's not incompatible with what we were doing. Oh, so like I said, a successful failure. We learned, we lived, we loved. And again, this is just to get us to a truck that might be in unworkably bad condition and still doesn't even have a trailer. And I don't even know how much these trailers pull. Like this mod may be uh, largely uh, aesthetic and the trailer may be uh, no bigger than this thing's flatbed and with the trailer behind it. Um, I'm hoping it can do at least several hundred, like high several hundred, like at least five or six hundred. Okay, so yeah, I guess the um, putting the corner positions in would not have particularly helped. Uh, a second layer would have helped. Uh, I, I suspect that might just be because I didn't have that short wall in there. I don't know, maybe I'll go play around with that in a debug server or something, because like I said, if we, if we weren't on the ball, and if we didn't have not just a backup but a multi-stage backup like enough ammunition enough food um yeah like if, if we were up there and oh crap all the shotgun ammunition was downstairs we fired off all our pistols 12 guys downstairs is more than you can sheet rope down into the middle of yeah we're gonna bring this inside i'm not gonna say that went well it went mixed yeah, mixed. Let's get some water. Not get scared by a mannequin. Okay, I guess those chips and stuff we're eating, I did say that that was probably going to make our weight go up. Yeah, so those tires are too low to now take this thing out. Um, they will need to be fixed. Okay, so we're going to get the gas out of that, repair that. And we're going to find three good tires. Windshield's not good. Right window's not good. Those are not uh, critical. Okay, we've refilled the car. We've got lots of water. Uh, we've got four stacks of logs. More nails. Metal. Checked it over. It's good to go. So we're going to head back to... Um, back to where we almost got killed. We'll try our luck again. We do need to take this thing to the gas station first. So we upgraded the old gas tank, which I think was a small one. We upgraded to a regular size one, not a large one. Uh, but we didn't put much gas in it, hence why it's, it's almost empty. Last time we were off on this trip, we ate a lot of um, processed food, yeah, and those chickens really came home to roost. So this time we have uh, potatoes and strawberries. So hopefully that should do us fine for a couple of days. Of course, as we saw last time, you do have to be prepared for when things go horribly wrong. So we've got more water than, like, we, sh we should have enough water to walk home with if we needed to. Ammunition is a bit more mixed. Uh, a lot of our ammunition is still on site. 320, still very early in the day. Now we tried to draw some of the zombies down this road away from Rosewood. I don't know how well that went. I mean the plan is still to... I mean, we're not technically trying to clear Rosewood. We just want our truck. Which, you know, may or may not work and doesn't even have a trailer yet. So this is, this is a, still a, a very mixed situation. Okay, this looks still pretty thick. So the other plan is to not engage them right now if we don't have to. We've got to re-clear this area. 
Oh, we're doing some bouncing there. Now, this time we haven't done any shotgunning or honking, so there could definitely be zombies hiding right nearby. Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, last time it was clear, but... again. I think we sleep for, I think we take longer to sleep in a bad chair like this, so in, in a sense that's actually helpful because we, we, there's no point in us being up at night. No. See, see that's the sort of thing you don't tend to consider when putting this, this sort of plan together, that there are so many um, digital watches underneath us. Uh, that the chance of ever getting a good night's sleep up here is uh, is really really low. Now we've got uh, like 24 more planks in the car. We could build this further away and that sort of thing. Um, that would certainly work. Okay, I'm a little nervous about this because. You know, obviously this almost got us killed last time. Uh, but that's not great. Why are we so over encumbered? Oh, I do have a space shop in there still. Uh, that's not the end of the world. Okay, I wait, signed up. Uh, water bottle's empty. Let's swap that out real quick. Yeah, obviously this almost got us killed last time, so... Um, you know, whoops and all that. I think, yes, I think we didn't have that internal barricade in, though the shotgun targeted the box next to us and fired. Um, Halo U4. Uh, but, you know, maybe that's not it. Maybe it was something else entirely. Um, um, I'm seriously considering just staying up top and, and shooting. Um, obviously I know that's safe unless you fall off. You know, I, I haven't maybe missed some, um, patch change or something. Bloody crawler. drag them from further afield than I want and I'm probably gonna lose some in that building Always concerned when doing this I'm accidentally gonna tap E. Obviously if your car is moving slow enough you can jump out and then that would be very, very bad.
know, yeah, obviously having things between me and where I'm running is also also bad. But I can't afford to uh, slow down and make sure at this point that I'm being followed. I just sort of have to trust that that they're coming. Then we'll give them one of those. I bet you like one guy. Did I just get a little bit too far away from at the end there? Crips and Rab, shit's annoying. Maybe they don't like the fact that they can't reach me, but certainly let's have their path in. Well, let's have my barricade secure. Yet once again, my line of sight for some reason is ridiculously obstructed. It means like if that crawler does get here, I've not been noticed until until they do. Taking these guys on one at a time, I could be doing this with my M9 pistols from the car. I have no idea why this construction is giving me such grief. I know the too wide walkway does make it a lot easier for them to hide, but it does make them a, a bit easier for me to not fall off and die as well, so... back down into the in the shark cage. Do I just fire blindly? I really don't want to do that. Clear. I'm gonna get the hammer out again. It says he found the one tree to hide behind. I did that thing where I pulled out the gun I already had out. Okay, we're going to drive our car around and do a little bit more construction before we go summon another mob. I think this will let me move around and shoot under each side a little bit better. So obviously all the setup for this is a trade-off in that, like at the moment, no, we're not killing these guys fast than we could have just with the 9mm pistol. We could have just been naking our way back and forth on the road blasting these guys. 
Uh, if we didn't want to waste a 9 mil, we could switch to 45. Um, this should be a lot faster. I don't know why we're getting that horrendous line of sight issue. I do need to get out ahead of these guys a little bit. So I can turn the car off, jump out, get over the fence, and get up the sheet rope. Yeah, because I just didn't get up that sheet rope in time. Oh, don't stand that close to the edge. Get away from my car. Oh my god. You guys are really that stupid. see any crawlers down there. I guess this is probably a good design where that that uh, fence will probably keep the crawlers out. I feel there's 20 zombies right there, and I just can't see them. Okay, that was a crate getting blown up again. So, I am taking that strategy off the menu. I don't know why it was working so badly down there, but um, that was trying to kill me. It's annoying when I can't figure out what's wrong, like there's something seriously wrong with the line of sight down there. I don't know if it's, if it's part of the construction work I've done, or... Um, or if I've just built in a in some sort of horrible cursed location. Don't know why that sheet rope isn't broken. There we go. Okay, sheet rope's broken. I seem to still have a really hard time getting a bead on any of these guys from up here. Bloody cloaking zombies. Like the idea of this would be getting three or four hit, if not killed, per shot. This is quite the opposite. Part of it is the awkwardness of yeah, getting my angle of aiming wrong for the, the isometric level. But I can try to do a better job of compensating for that. I guess if I'd bought a generator, the sound would attract them and we'd have some lights. I would not have um I would not have thought to list um 
wristwatches as one of the weaknesses of a of a design like this. Uh, so we've got more than 200 uh, pistol rounds. Did I leave all the shotgun rounds up here? Yeah, I did. Um, now, do I, do I scrap this and just return to the car? Uh, didn't have a look at the gas tank. I'm assuming we're still good. Okay, so we're transitioning off that design. That means we're going to um, going back to just shooting things from the car. God damn, Jim! As it was, we were just getting such low uptake. We spent most of our time picking off the, the little stragglers. Now again here, there, there's the issue that the more I drive this way, the more I shoot this way, the more things that I will draw. But I'd rather draw them now than while I'm uh, playing around with the truck. They're just standing there minding his own business. I saw that. Okay, it's 9 a.m. We've got all day. There's no rush. Okay, so no bull bar, no windshield armor, I think I might have to put that in myself, gas tank's empty, engine is working. Got a key. Okay, so it's just empty. I don't know if this one tank's going to get us very far. Nor do I know where one installs it. Try siphoning some out of these. If I can get one more, I'd be pretty sure that'll do me. Not that I have anything to base it off. I missed anything super obvious. Okay, one tire's bad, but they're not going to fall off. Body works fine. Gas tanks, the gas in the engine. Okay, it's probably going to be super loud. Okay, why are we not going? What am I missing here?
Uh, okay, battery's dead. There we go. If I remember correctly, I even brought a spare. There we go. I'm actually going to keep that gas can with me in case I can't drag this vehicle. In case I have to top up on the way. And now we get to start. Great no tree. Thing handles surprisingly well. Windows are down. Now this thing's pulling this truck with no difficulty. So it's at least got that amount of carrying capacity. Let's stay on the road. Yeah, I'd rather hit some zombies than risk going off-road and getting trapped or flipping this or something silly. Okay, so we've got a couple of seats. And a glove box. Okay, so we've got a truck. It'll require a little bit of work. I think we can maybe make things for it like a bull bar. Um, don't know. We'll have to look into that. Uh, obviously, it's we, we really prefer it to have a, a, a trailer behind it as well. But this took us what, a, a trip out to the train yards, which didn't end up making it onto a video because it was literally just us driving around the train yard near Mulgrat shooting things in a heavy fog. It was painfully dull. Then two road trips and then two trips out to here to try to secure this truck. It's taken a while. Uh, this should be the crossroads. Probably something like 15 hours. We are drowsy already because of those miserable night sleeps. That makes sense. So technically while they're just dragging this thing behind us we, we have, you know, we, we've increased our um, our capacity we haven't increased it a lot you know not more than just making five trips back and forth to where we want to go okay so we we brought that spare battery and that's what we needed so that was good it's it's nice to see preparation getting rewarded we did even have a spare tire uh, though I don't think we ended up this things of the seal that are all working right now uh, though the cars were a bit battered after those 15 or so zombies we had to run over 